Hi, I'm Chris Callahan with UVM Extension Agricultural Engineering. In this series of videos, we're going to talk about the sanitary design of packing houses, an introduction to hygienic design for produce farms. Before we get started, let's talk about why you're here. Maybe you're here because you simply want to have a clean wash pack area. Maybe you're here because you've had a, a, an audit recently, a gap audit, for example, or some other produce safety audit that's highlighted a need for improvement. And cleaning and sanitizing in particular. Maybe you've been through an on-farm readiness review recently or a produce safety rule inspection and some need for improvement was identified. Regardless of why you're here, what we hope to do is give you five key principles to work with and some tools to take a look at your wash pack area, your pack house, uh, and think about where, where to prioritize spending your time for improving it from a hygienic design perspective. Thanks for joining us. Let's start by talking about what hygienic design actually is. The purpose of hygienic design is to be intentional about creating or improving spaces and equipment so they can be cleaned and sanitized as appropriate. Fundamental point here is that microorganisms such as human pathogens are small and they can persist in even the tiniest of spaces in the right conditions. So the role of hygienic design is really to prevent this. We want to do that by incorporating often passive design features into equipment and buildings to minimize harborage of human pathogens. You can always learn more on your own time outside of these videos by visiting the link at the bottom of the page here, go.uvm.edu slash hygienic design. As we go through this video series, we'll include additional links in this same location on the slide for additional information. At the heart of hygienic design for produce farms are these five principles. Now this is a summary or a simplified group of principles that come from a larger wealth of knowledge around hygienic design that's been really developed for food manufacturing facilities and food plants. What we've worked to do is boil this down to five principles we can all carry around on a daily basis and really use as a different or a new lens for looking at wash pack areas and pack sheds to uh, improve how our, the cleanability of these spaces and the overall hygiene. So the first is visible and reachable surfaces. If you can't see it, you probably can't clean it. Two, smooth and cleanable surfaces. We want surfaces that we can actually get visibly clean with not a whole lot of effort. So we want to make sure we're using surfaces, especially food contact surfaces, that are smooth and cleanable. Three, no collection points. We want to avoid having any places where food, water, and uh, human pathogens might be able to collect in our uh, pack sheds, including in equipment. Four, compatible materials. Oftentimes, the equipment that's made is not made with equipped with materials that are going to be compatible with the cleaners or sanitizers or even the food products that we're using the, the equipment for. So we're going to take a look at materials that are compatible for the use. Five, preventing contamination. This one is sort of a catch-all for a lot of practices, best practices that help prevent the contamination fundamentally from occurring in the first place. So it's thinking about how our buildings are oriented, where the doors might be, where people or uh, product might flow through the building, and thinking about that flow in a really intentional way to prevent cross-contamination. In the videos that follow, we're going to cover each one of these principles in greater detail. This is just meant to be a quick overview to introduce you to the five principles of hygienic design. 